What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing 2019. Uh, Panini Legacy Football, the six box half inner case break number four. Two random teams each. So at the end of this break, we're also giving away five Father's Day packs to one lucky customer. So at the end of the break, we'll take the list of customer names who joined and randomize them. Top or name on top will win five Father's Day packs ship sealed to them. So of course, 16 spots. Everybody gets two NFL teams randomly and then we're going to go by this checklist on group break checklist for Penny Legacy so we'll have that open there and dice roller here list of customers from Sergio all the way down to Chad last bomb mojo of course you have the cards down to the Redskins excuse me dice roll it uh, we got a four and a five nine times good luck nine times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, Michelle, all the way down to Jared. Crazy. All righty. And we got. Nine times on the teams now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times, Oakland Raiders down to Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, so you guys can see that, right? Michelle with the Raiders. Gabe, you have the Lions. Christopher with the Redskins. Drew Curry, you have the Bengals. Sergio with the Broncos. Jared, you have the Texans. Chad, last by Mojo, Patriots. Jared with the Giants. Chad, Cowboys, last by Mojo. Christopher, you have Chiefs. Mark B with the Colts. Drew with the Falcons. Sergio with the Rams. Ryan Redman with the Seahawks. Drew with the Eagles. Ryan Redman with the Chargers. Mark with the Jets. Michelle with the Bucks. Gavin with the Bears. Sergio with the Browns. Sergio with the Cardinals. Ryan with the Saints. Mark Livingston, you have the Bills. Gavin with the uh, Vikings. Jared with the Ravens. Ryan with the Packers. Mark with the 49ers. Udo with the Vikings. Or sorry, with the uh, Steelers and Titans. Gabe with the Dolphins. Drew with the Panthers. And then Jared with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now let me alphabetize this. And I'll give you guys a quick minute to trade. Put it back down to 11 just so you guys can... Um, See your teams. Ah, what's going on? Ah, ah, what's going on here? This damn mouse. All right, so uh, Ryan saying I'm open for trading the Packers, Drews, Bengals, and Eagles for trade. Uh, Gavin's proposing Vikings for Eagles. Let me know. Mark B is saying Jets for Bears. Raiders for Tampa Bay. Raiders or Tampa for Packers. All right, Juice, I got to pass on the Vikings. Sorry, okay. So that is turned down. Is that you, Michelle? Raiders for Packers. Ryan's confirming. So you guys are good? Okay. Alrighty. So we have one trade. Uh, 
And we'll put a little plus sign for Trade Mojo. Put Ryan Redman. Trade Mojo there. Anybody else? Dreaming Q. Uh, I'm actually not too sure. I don't remember what Steelers drafted in this draft class. There are vet stuff too. Um, if you want to actually look at the checklist, you can control F it if you do have a... Um, a desktop or a, sorry, a, a PC, and then you could uh, check out the checklist for them. I would check it out for you, but I kind of got to start the break. But I'm not too sure if the Steelers have a lot of better rookies, but I know there's veteran stuff in here too, so that's something you could look out for. Mark saying Colts for Bears. All right, guys, I'll give you guys another 30 seconds just because there's a lot of chitter chatter. I don't, I don't mind extending the trade window, but um, if nothing else is going to go down, I'm just going to close it. When there's no chatter, I close it quick. When there is chatter, I let it kind of extend. All right, so Gavin's out then. Okay. Okay. All right, then. So then, uh, yeah, we're going to close the trade window then. I don't think we got the one trade done, right? Marco saying Jets for Bears, but Gavin's not going to trade unless it's for the Eagles. Drew's not going to trade the Eagles. All right, I'm just going to close it then. All right, so trade window closed now, guys. All right, guys. So here's kind of the rough Stein uh, stamp time. I mean, Contenders Optic might maybe a little 10 minutes after. I'm going to try to break this within the next 30 minutes. If I go off a couple minutes, it's not too crazy. But hopefully by 8, I'm pretty much down to the last box or so. And I don't think I numbered them yesterday when I broke the second half, but I put these six boxes in one spot. So these are the six boxes that we were using for this break. We don't actually have any loose boxes besides the personals, but personals are like over there so there you go so chat with the cowboys we had one trade michelle gets the packers now and ryan gets the raiders a little plus sign and then chat with the patriots last spot mojo all the way down to the redskins Alrighty. so there you go there's the six boxes right there let's do it Good luck. So yeah, guys, uh, what are you guys, what are you guys thinking? Some early, early, let's say division winners. Who wins the AFC West, East, South, and North? Who wins the NFC East, West, South, and North? Just by what you're looking at on paper. Don't factor in anything else because injuries are going to happen but like are the are the browns really going to take the division you know it's crazy so we could go like uh i think nfc we'll go we'll go start with afc let's start with afc first so AFC, let's start with the West since I'm here in the West. You got Chargers, Chiefs, uh, what is it, Raiders. What's the other one that they have over here? Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, Denver Broncos. Chargers have a pretty damn good team. 
Obviously, the Chiefs are a pretty damn good team. Minus, who knows if they won't have Tyreek or not. But, obviously, you still have Patrick Mahomes. AJ Green at 299. Chargers, I think, all around are a pretty complete team. Obviously, barring injuries. Jerry Kramer, look at that. Right off the bat. Legends autograph for the Packers. Wow, that's trade mojo. First box. Michelle gets the Packers. And there you go. Tyreek Hill. Wait, he's gone, but he, he th didn't release him, did he? I don't even remember that. Unless I blanked. But other than that, I mean, Chiefs are still a pretty dangerous team. But I kind of want to lead towards the Chargers, too. What is that? Montez Sweat? I know Kareem Hunt's gone. He's actually with the Browns. <laughs> right? But I, I, I think Tyreek is still with the Chiefs. He's just on the... He's, uh, he's just still on the, like, uh, suspended list or something, right? Until the commissioner... Ooh, cracked ice. That is 6 of 10, James White. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's... I mean, I think he's going to get a couple games suspended, but... I mean, yeah, I kind of think Drew Kerr's right. Like, it's, it's max maybe of four games. To 199 down Marino. I mean, it's crazy, but... So it could be. AJ Brown. Autograph. There you go. I think who was talking about Dreaming Q was talking about Tennessee's pretty underrated. Well, there's a little Tennessee weapon right there. I believe AJ Brown's a Titan, right? Another weapon for my boy Marcus Mariota, who needs to definitely step up this year. <laughs> but same time, he does have to run for his life sometimes. Yeah, Titans. Put Titans on this. Yeah, I mean they obviously got to relook at all that, but I believe he was clear too, right? So uh, it's like just really different, and then yeah, Hunt was a little bit different. I, I don't know. All right, who has the Titans? Udo. There you go. Uh, Von Miller to 199. Yeah, I mean, everybody. Okay, well, speaking of another person, Zeke, have you brought it up? Isn't Zeke going to have a hearing? I mean, I don't think he should be suspended for what he did. Obviously, uh, when it comes to him being at EDC and just kind of. I don't know if he really shoved the fan, but kind of just gave him a little shoulder. Greg Lloyd, but. I don't, I don't know, man. I got. I mean, obviously he's a cowboy, and I'm a big Eagles fan, so of course, you know, I'm just. I'm not saying I'm gonna wish the worst on him, but he gets what he deserves, you know. But at the same time, it's like I, I just don't like that he puts himself in that situation, right? Like you don't. First of all, why are you doing this? Like why are you letting somebody get under your skin? I understand you're trying to enjoy a show just like any other normal person, right? And it's like, what? I mean, well, it wasn't a security. I heard that it was just a guy that was just talking smack, you know. But why do you, why do you let somebody get under your skin like that? You know, you're a professional. And I mean, I don't know what his financial situation is like, but was he not in VIP? I was. I'm hoping he was in VIP. I'm sure he was, right? I haven't really looked inside. I just seen the video of him, kind of just going up to somebody, and like uh, saying some stuff. And then kind of seeing the guy kind of tumble a little bit or fall down. But that's just to me. It's like, don't put yourself in that position, man. You know, because you're a quick target. I 
I mean, you never know. Broncos have always had a good defense. Just need the quarterback to man the ship. But yeah, I mean, oh, AFC South. Texans. Oh, I know, right? Think about that. Brandon Nichols right off the bat just say Colts taking it. I love Andrew Luck. That's another quarterback. I'm a big quarterback guy. I love quarterbacks. So I do believe in Andrew Luck. I think what he did with what he had last year was pretty amazing. He'll be back fully healthy, healthy this year. Right? He has a couple more weapons under his belt now. Ebron might kill it even more. Defense might be much better. Obviously, Texans still are pretty solid. I think Titans are pretty solid. Who knows with the Jaguars and Nick Foles. Greedy Williams. What's up, Autosave? What's going on, man? What's up, Ryan? That's going to be interesting. Leslie O'Neal. Wow, out of 10. Look at that. Very, very nice second box as well. That is for the Chargers. LA Chargers. Ryan Redmond. There you go, man. That is 6 of 10. All right, so, I mean, I think we all kind of think it's between a couple of people, but I think that one will be kind of more competitive. But let's go. Man, let's go AFC North now. Woo. Browns, Steelers, Ravens, or Bengals? I don't know. I, I kind of believe in that Browns team. But then you think that the Ravens are pretty good as well. Then obviously the Steelers are the Steelers. Right? Mine is Antonio Brown. They still have a solid team. Hakeem Butler to 199. I don't know, man. That's... To 50, Trayvon Mullen Jr. I mean, it's not, to me, I don't expect them to win the division or anything like that. I mean, maybe squeeze in to make a playoff, a wild card, but I don't know, man. I I mean, if they do, I guess it's not going to shock me, but it's, it's I don't know, that's, that's bold from a one-year turnaround, right, or two-year turnaround, especially the way they were. But I don't know, man. On paper, man, they have some good players. Rashad Gary. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think the Bengals are really in this talk, right? <laughs> the Bengals are definitely uh, last. I mean, I don't know if they shock us and maybe make third. That'd be pretty amazing. Roethlisberger. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I mean, I guess that, it's, that goes with everybody, bar an injury. It all just depends. But I don't know, man. I'm... Browns. I kind of want, I want to root for them. I like David Njoku. George Kittle to 165. And David Sills. You want to call it a three color patch? You tell him to look at the white right there. West Virginia. David Sills, who's that? Who does he play for? Bills. Sills plays for the Bills. All right, what's the last division in the AFC that we didn't talk about? We talked about West, South. Oh, yeah, that's right. The East. Buffalo. Jets, Patriots, Dolphins. Are the, Dol are the Patriots still a favorite? I'm assuming, right? Even minus Gronk. Then you think, I don't know, guys. I I'm actually going to the Eagles game against the Jets on October 6th or October 5th this year. I got tickets to go. And I don't know, man. I I I'm a really big Sam Darnold fan, too. You know, I got to see him a couple times play here at USC. And, um... On paper, <laughs> you know, on paper, they look pretty damn good. I mean, they're still a young team. Obviously, got to put it all together. But defensively and offensively, I feel like they can put it together. I would say watch out for those Jets, too. It wouldn't surprise me. 
I mean, it's not going to surprise me that the Patriots win the division. I mean, they're the Patriots, right? No matter if Tom Brady loses a weapon, he finds a way to, you know, make another no, non-player or non-star into a star. You still have Edelman there. I don't know if Gordon can still play. Right? I don't know. I, I just, you know what, Drew? I just got to, come on, I'm an Eagles fan. Come on. I got to have to try to think, can the Patriots not win the division this year? But, I mean, I'm sure they still will. But I still think the Jets might give them a little bit of hard time. You never know with the Bills, either, I guess. Maybe the wins won't reflect, but... Maybe the wins won't reflect on it, but... You know, Josh Allen's pretty damn good. But I respect. I respect uh, Tom Brady, though, man. Even though he made me cry. Or actually... Branch, Dion Branch made me cry back in 04. <laughs> like, we could not contain that guy. What was that? In 2004, I was probably like, what, 12? Yeah, I was like 12. So, that kind of hurt me. So, I still have, I still live with that every day. But, it did make me happy back in 17. But, gotta give it up to him. Yeah, Gordon has been, uh, Training with Tom Brady pretty much all spring, right? Getting his mind straight. So, I don't know when he's going to play again, but... Still with the Patriots, though. Alrighty. We got to 25, Walt Garrison. Oh, are, is that right? Oh, man. That's that's rough, Drew. Especially what happened a couple years back. All right, so I think we're done with AFC. So people were thinking Chargers, Chiefs maybe, right? Obviously, we did, uh, I don't know. I think that AFC South is going to be pretty competitive. But, you know, Colts, Cohen, uh, Colts and... Uh, Texans with the Titans. We did North. Still think maybe, you know, Steelers still take the top. Browns could surprise. I don't know, Ravens. And now Patriots obviously should. Maybe the Jets, surprisingly. True. Oh, man. Oh, you watched that at a bar? Oh. I, Tari Cohen, a 25 legacy insert. I could not watch the Eagles game at a bar, even in the Super. Like no, I I rather ha I hosted it at my house. I had a little Super Bowl watch party, but man, at a bar it was rough. Like especially if they lose. Like I kind of uh, don't want to be with anybody else if something goes wrong. Rodney Hampton, the twenty-five for the Giants. But um. Kudos, man. I mean, <laughs> you're watching it with a full of Patriots fans. It's bold. Did you have a Seahawks jersey on too? Drew Locke, 299. It'd be Bronco right there. Oh, did you I just turn 21 too when that happened? Damn. Hakeem Butler, Iowa State Futures, Patch Auto. Uh, Hakeem Butler. That is Cardinals. Where's Cardinals at? Ah, gotcha, guys. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, so Cardinals. Sergio. There you go, man. Nice. I like that. Alrighty. Alright, guys, so we can go to the NFC now, then, I guess. You start here with the NFC West. Seahawks. Doug Baldwin not there no more, right? Seahawks, 49ers, Rams, Cardinals. I feel like that division may be very fun to watch as well. Devin White.
Cardinals are going to be fun to watch. Rams are obviously have a great team. I expect them to probably win the division again. Garoppolo come back healthy with that monster of a tight end they have. Good defense now with Joe. I mean, they've got an, uh, they've got an, uh, a lot of defensive linemen throughout the years, but maybe Nick Bosa makes a big impact. Buccaneers for Devin White. I met DK, you know, a couple months back at the rookie premiere in May. Dude is a freak of nature. <laughs> that dude is, he's very funny too, guys. Uh, I think I love his personality. Very humble, you know, not really not what I would have expected him to be like. He's, he's, a, I, I, I think he's going to be a beast too. But, um, I, I like that DK. I think, yeah, I think he's going to fit in nicely. All right, three boxes to go, guys. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess Rams, right? Rams, Seahawks, maybe? Yeah, with, I mean, DK, you never know. But I feel like Rams should should win the division at least, but maybe make it interesting. So that's West. Let's go East now then, right? Gavin's saying for the NFC East, I can actually have a chance every year to say Philly's going to win a division. So inconsistent. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big Eagles fan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really biased, though, guys, when it comes to, like, really choosing who's going to win a game or not or take it all. I mean, on paper, though, guys, I mean, with Carson Wentz healthy, the weapons that the Eagles have offensively, defensively, I mean, it's I, I think that they, they could win the division. But again, the Cowboys are a good team. You know, I'll say that for sure. Cowboys are a good team. Um, you know, that's always going to be the Eagles-Cowboys rivalry. Obviously, Giants, Redskins kind of uh, still with the their newer quarterbacks. Who knows when, you know, their rookie quarterbacks may step on the field and play. But I think it's just pretty much between the Eagles and Cowboys. And I think it all just depends on health, to be honest. And I can't really fully say, yeah, Carson Wentz is gonna is gonna be healthy, right? Because I, I I'll be real, I can't really say that. But I think this is gonna be the first time in his career he's gonna come into training camp fully healthy. And I think adding Deshaun Jackson back is gonna give a big deep weapon. I think the Eagles' defense is gonna be much better than it was last year, though. Uh, defensively, man, the Eagles are scary. Like. Like I said, like, for the Eagles, them winning the Bears game was pretty... I mean, obviously, luck, the double doink and all that, but... Man, you gotta give props to those fourth-stringer cornerbacks that they had, though. They had fourth-string quarterback, like, cornerbacks, literally. Like, Cravion Blanc, like, who was that guy? This guy was a practice squad guy. Like, all these players, the Eagles lost so many cornerbacks throughout the whole season that... Those third-stringers, fourth-stringers actually got a chance to play and actually improved every single week. And into the playoffs. Speaking of the Eagles, Carson Wentz there to 299. I don't know. I feel like the Eagles are pretty complete, but it all just depends on health. Trayvon Mullen Jr. Haskins would be playing angry in that division. Yeah, well, Haskins thought he probably would have been a giant, right? I met Haskins too. He's kind of, he's pretty funny. What was really funny though, guys, is, uh, Trayvon Mullins with the Raiders. So there you go. That's Raiders uh, trade mojo there as well. Strikes back. Um, you know, it was really funny that the rookie premiere Hashkins, they asked, uh, they asked all the rookies cause you got to ask them questions. The people in the, in the room get to ask them questions. Um, then obviously the Panini guys get to ask them questions. But one of the questions they asked was, or well, somebody asked in the in the in the crowd, what is the first thing you guys have bought with your uh, with your first check, right? You know, your signing bonus, whatever it is. So the first was Kyler Murray. He's just like, no com. I think he said no comment, or he said he bought a car. I think, like he's a car guy. And the next person, I think 
Drew Locke said, I don't think he had bought anything yet. And it was funny because Nick Bosa was next and he just stood quiet. And people were laughing because I guess he hadn't signed yet or he was holding out. He's like, oh, I haven't really, I haven't signed yet. <laughs> He's like, uh, and you know, kind of making fun of him. And then like Dwayne Haskins said, they go up to him and then he says, oh, I, you know, I bought my mom a car. I bought my mom a house or bought my mom a house or I bought myself a house as well too. Dak Prescott at 50, and it was funny because Kyler Murray was just like, damn, anything else? Like, you know, and he's just like, well, damn. He was like, well, I got to go. I got to live somewhere. You know, he was just like that, and it was funny. And then he goes out and says, Christian Kirk, he goes out and says, wow, it's a one-of-one one Christian Kirk for the Cardinals. Nice. There you go. Cardinal Sergio. And uh, what was funny was that he goes out and says, well, damn, Kyler, you're the one with all the money. He's like, what the hell, man? You're over here, like, telling me something. It's hilarious. Mike Irving to 100. But, I mean, what? Is it wrong to really go out and buy, your, you know, your, your parents a house? Right? I mean, come on. If they're the ones that got you there, right? Supported you throughout the whole way. Debo Samuel patch autograph. That is 49ers. So I was like, man, I don't know what matter to me. I'd buy my parents a house right away. All right, so that's uh, 49ers, which is Mark Livingston. So yeah, guys, look at this. The second half of Legacy has been pretty good. Solid names. I mean, one of ones. Some very, very cool stuff. Michael Thomas to two or uh, one DK Metcalf to 165. Of course, that's going to be a Seahawk right there. Seattle Seahawks. Ryan Redman. All right, two boxes to go, guys. So remember, our schedule is right there in the chat. Here it is again one more time. Uh, we may be running a little off, so I might put 810. And then we can get uh, Contenders Optic going after this. So I should be done with this in the next 10 minutes. And then who knows, maybe some Immaculate Soccer after this. I haven't got any orders yet, so. I don't know if you guys just want to call it a night after this. It's a little too early to call it a night, but. Let's try some cup hockey, guys. You guys are sleeping on that cup hockey. I did the first three boxes last, uh, last week, I believe. I don't think I pulled anything crazy out of there, to be honest. I don't know what Joe pulled in number... Four, whatever number we're on, but there's still an add a 99. Level one could be hiding in there. There could be a big, nice vet autograph, low number. You know, there could be exquisite, nice rookie patch autograph. There could be a lot of different possibilities. And I think that break is down to five. So like that could be another break we can go towards. Um, besides uh, doing the contenders and maybe immaculate soccer. And I same thing, I feel like soccer is the same way. We would be halfway through the case in number three. And although this last box was pretty cool with that nice uh, piece of the cleat and laundry tag to 10. But again, that's out of 10. Still no big one one or anything like that. So not too sure what else could be hiding in there. Well, that's what I was going to say. Because if you go out and get a guy named Dillard, I mean, obviously you go out and get the best possible pick you can. And I think he's going to be a solid replacement for Jason Peters once he retires. But that's what are you going to do with Jordan now, right? But I think, I think with Jordan, obviously, he he probably can play multiple positions. He doesn't have to be a tackle; he could be a guard or anything like that, or play on the opposite side. So it'd be interesting to see. But yeah, I, I like that guy. I think he's going to be pretty good. He's raw. He just has a lot of talent. Just needs a lot of practice for coming from rugby. Alex Barnes. All 
Uh, that's Titans. Uh, uh, the Eagles don't need another tight end, but I guess you can never have too many. All right, so that's Titans. How crazy is that, guys? And it's so sad. Tyler Skaggs dies at 27, found unresponsive in his hotel room. I mean, what could it be, guys? What do you... I mean... You, you always think unresponsive hotel room, like, was he doing drugs? But I don't feel like he would be doing that. Right? I mean... Have they found out more news? T.Y. Hilton. And it's crazy because Nick Adenhart passed away, you know, in that car accident 10 years ago this year. So, 10 years later, another pitcher for the Angels dies at a young age. It's pretty crazy. Harmon, to 165. Yeah, they're talking about Nick. Terry Bradshaw. 100 I know it's very horrible I got an alert when I was at home and I was like what like crazy what the hell and I was thinking man did he like was it on a car accident or something like that but no and then I found out it was just in his house or in the his uh, hotel room Dexter Lawrence and University of Buffalo Tyree Jackson my nice single color patch auto. Tyree Jackson is Bills. It's another one for the Bills, Mark Livingston. Thank you, Brownie. Yeah, yeah. I always like to look it up to double check, though. Fitzgerald to 199. 299. Leroy Butler. All right, last box. All right, last box mojo. Good luck. We got out of 50, Nick Bosa.
Oh, thank you, Gavin. No, I still remembered it. Maybe when I was about to click the end of the video, maybe I might have forgot. <laughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick to 100. Jamal Williams. Packers. It's another trade mojo right there for Michelle. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Sorry. Odell Beckham to 165. I would have forgot, though, probably. Coming to the end of the break. Goff to 299. And Justin Tucker to 100 for the Ravens. Ed Reed. It's number to 299 for the Ravens. James White to 100. have the last patch auto behind Adam Thielen is Drew Locke and it's out of 15 wow look at that nice patch nice also met this guy this guy is one person that you don't you see walking down the street you just think he's a tall guy that's it <laughs> like has no like football body <laughs> which is crazy Broncos Sergio man there you go nice piece of the patch 215 and there you go guys that was the break you guys want a little quick re hit recap I drew lock to 15 Jamal Williams Bill's patch autograph of Tyree Jackson Titans autograph of Alex Barnes, 49ers patch autograph of Debo Samuels, Christian Kirk, one of one, Raiders, Mullen Jr., Bucks, Devin White, Cardinals, Hakeem Butler, Bills patch autograph of David Sills, nice Leslie O'Neal, cracked ice auto to 10 for the Chargers, AJ Brown for the Titans, and Jeremy or Jerry Kramer for the Green Bay Packers. And of course, we do have a lot of number stuff that we will top load as well. The shipping team will. Which is all right here. I know, I just seen uh, Yelly just hit another one, right? 30th before the All-Star break. It's crazy. And there you go, guys. So, remember, if you did go hit this, unfortunately, uh, you still have a chance to get something. Father's Day packs that we're giving away. We're giving away five to one lucky customer. Ship sealed. So let's quickly get a new pair of dice. Let's get a new list. From Sergio down to Christopher. And let's click roll dice. Five and a two, seven times. Good luck, seven times. Number one gets five Father's Day packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven the final time. Good luck. It is seven times. Chad, who got last spot mojo in the break. So, Chad, not sure if I called your name for any hits. But there you go. You're going to get five Father's Day packs shipped sealed to you. And there you go, guys. That was the break. Legacy number four. Coming up next is Panini Contenders Optic Football Picker Team number 24. Appreciate it, guys.